Hey guys, welcome to Man About Cake. I'm your host, Joshua John Russell. And this week, this man is all about faux piped borders. Now you guys know I really, really love piping, but I'm gonna show you how to get the same look without a piping bag at all. You guys ready to do this? Let's do it. I'm starting with an eight inch chocolate cake. I'm just gonna chop these guys up. This one got taken out of the oven a little too early. That's, that's on me. I can't blame Brandon for that. He doesn't bake, or does he? A little garbage cake here, and then I'm just gonna slice this guy in half. Do the same thing to this one that I think someone set their mayonnaise jar on. That's not the oven, that was not me. Who put something in it on the, in the fridge? Brandon, what did you put on top of my cake, dude? A jar of pickles. This thing tastes like pickle juice, you're in trouble. We're gonna make some espresso buttercream. So I just have my Swiss Marine buttercream recipe. By the way, if you want any of the tools or recipes from this episode, click the I at the top or you can get them in the description box below. I have a little bit of espresso powder here. So basically this is espresso that has been freeze dried and pulverized. So when you add a little bit of liquid to it, it rehydrates it and it's very uh, concentrated. Add a little hot water to this and just make a little paste. That's a bad noise too. It's like, it's like a clown on a bicycle headed towards you in a scary movie. Or like a swing set that's going and no one's in the swing. All right, we're gonna add it in here. Give this guy a stir. All right, that looks good, let me taste it. Delicious. All right, now let's fill this guy. All right, I'm gonna get this guy in the cooler and then we'll do a crumb coat and a final coat. We're gonna make a sugar flower as our decoration for the cake, but we have to make the petals first. So I have a little bit of pink gum paste. We're gonna go back and dust this with some pink colors and some orange colors. But I wanna start with a base of pink. I'm just gonna take a little piece of this and I'm gonna roll it over one of these modeling boards so that I can actually fit the wire into the petal. So I'm gonna take a little bit of cornstarch in my little puff here. So we're gonna roll it out really thin to the top, keep it a little bit thicker at the bottom. So then we end up with our little impression and then I can cut this guy out. And this, by the way, is just a teardrop cutter, but it looks like a petal, so this is the one I'm gonna use. And I'm just gonna cut this out with the thickest part of the vein at the bottom of the cutter. Pull the paste away, and there she is. So now we're gonna actually insert the wire using a little bit of gum glue. You could use pasteurized egg white as well. So we'll dip the wire in, and then we'll insert it about a third of the way up the petal. All right, and then I'm gonna taper the edge. Now we're going to emboss it with these thick pieces of lettuce. I'm just kidding. <laughs> They're not lettuce. They're just green like lettuce. This is a really fun embosser though. Gets some really good detail, but I'm actually gonna have to put a little bit of cornstarch in here and on the top just to make sure it doesn't stick. We'll put this guy in here and then we'll vein it. Ooh. The last thing I'm gonna do is actually thin the edge of the petals a little bit to make it a little bit more dainty like an actual petal. By the way, this is not a flower that's botanically correct. I'm just making it up. Fire. It's like a, like kind of like a poppy, but not at all. So I'm just gonna pull the gum paste out on the edge to thin it all the way around. Then I'm gonna come back and sort of shake it back and forth like this to get some little ruffles. And then we'll put it in our former here, let it dry overnight. I'm gonna make a center for my flower and I'm gonna build it around this styrene cone. So what I'm gonna do is actually take a leftover piece of marble fondant, recycling, I'm gonna add a little bit of pink to it. So we're gonna make this sort of marble effect and once it dries, I'm gonna paint it with a little bit of confectioner glaze. Confectioner's glaze. Take some. And when it's dry, I'm gonna paint it with a little bit of confectioner's glaze to kind of make it look like a marble. Twist this together. And then we'll roll this out. See what kind of fun variations we get. All right, I really dig this section. So that's where I'm gonna cut out my circle. Ooh, what planet is that? Alabama. <laughs> Alabama is a planet. <laughs> Just kidding. That was a joke. All right, now I'm gonna brush the cone with a little bit of gum glue. You could use uh, pasteurized egg white as well. And then we're gonna wrap it around. So I'm just gonna guide it down. Looks like a ghost. It's the newest Pac-Man ghost. They asked me to design it, I was like, fine. The only part of this that's gonna be shown is really just this top part. So the bottom can get a little wrinkly. I'm just gonna kind of gather all this up. 
All right, now we're gonna let her dry and then we'll paint her with confectioner's glaze. She'll be shiny. We have to make leaves for the flowers as well. I'm gonna make those a little bit whimsical too. So I've got a piece of gum paste here, just a white piece of gum paste because we're actually gonna paint them gold. And I'm just gonna roll this out like I do it on the modeling board where it's thin to one side and thick to the bottom. And then I'm just gonna cut the leaf out. So it's gonna go in this mold. So I just need to make it smaller than this. So before I emboss it, I'm actually gonna put it on the wire. So dip the wire in a little gum glue. So I'm gonna feed it up about a quarter of the way and then I'll taper it off at the end here. Then we'll put a little cornstarch on each side and then we'll put it in the mold. This mold's a little creepy, but I like it. You could make underwater stuff too, like seaweed. Ooh. So then we've got two sides we can use. And then I'm gonna do the same thing that I do with the petals. And we're gonna thin the edges out. I'm gonna do it a little bit differently. So I'm gonna start with the large end of the ball tool and thin it out. And then I'm gonna take the other side to make these little ruffles. It's kind of looking like a feather. Okay, so we don't want this to dry flat. We're gonna dry it over this so it has a little bit of life. We're gonna cover the cake with white fondant, so I'm gonna roll this to an eighth of an inch thickness with cornstarch. Our petal is dry, now we're gonna add some dust to it. So I'm gonna take it out of its little mold here. And then I have a little bit of pink, and then I also have a little bit of orange. So most of the flower is gonna be the pink color. The orange will just be accents. So I have a clean, dry brush here, and I'm gonna start at the top and pull the color down. It's very cathartic. So you have to make 700 of these. Then I just do it and cry. <laughs> Why did I take this cake? I don't even want the money anymore. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna just add a little highlight with the orange. So same idea, but I'm just gonna put it right on the edges. She's pretty. Let's tape our flower up. I added a little bit of confectioner's glaze to the bulb and a couple little speckles of gold just to make it a little more interesting, since this is the flower that I made up. And then I have five petals here and some floral tape. This you have to stretch to activate the glue so that it's sticky. I'm gonna start with my first petal, put these guys together, and then we're gonna wire them. Number two one. Each time I add a petal, I'm not taping all the way down. I'm just taping enough for it to stay. Then at the end, I'll tape the whole thing. This is a Morning James. Oh! <laughs> I don't know what it's called. No, that's the name. It's Morning James. You said it. It's a Morning James. Mmm. <laughs> We're gonna make our faux piping with these fun molds. As you can see, they look like piping. So if you struggle with piping a little bit, maybe this is kind of the first step. You can fake it out. So I just have a little bit of gum paste. They're very easy to use. I just put a little cornstarch in each of the molds, and then we'll make a log, because that's what we do on Manibel Cake. Everything starts with a log. Now we're gonna turn away the excess with the knife. To sort of just give them a tug, get them opened up. Here, croissant. <laughs> I might use it like that actually, it's kind of cute. Do the same thing here, these guys out. So these I'm actually gonna make into a fleur-de-lis. So I'm gonna curve these guys a little bit to make them fit together so that they dry in that shape. Then we'll do the same thing on the other side. Now I'm gonna make a whole bunch of these, we'll let them dry and then I'll cover the cake. Let's do some airbrushing. So I have all of my molds that I made and I also have my leaves that are gonna go with the flowers. I have some gold airbrush and an airbrush machine. I've got my dried gold molds, and now I'm gonna put them on using royal icing. I just realized that I put these all upside down. <laughs> They're supposed to go the other way. See, that's the beauty of the mold though. Had I piped this, I'd have to scrape it all off. So now I'm gonna flip them upside down. The last thing we need to do is add our flour. So normally I wouldn't just put wires into a cake, but I have a really, really fun product to show you guys. This is a product called Safety Seal. So what it does is when you dip something in it, it creates a food safe seal. So you have to heat it, it's sort of like a waxy product. I put this in the microwave for about two minutes, so it's kind of warm to the touch, but not completely hot. Look, now my fingers, Safety Seal. Looks kind of gross, doesn't it? So I'm gonna dip the wire into the Safety Seal, and it should immediately set up. So I've made a hole where I want my flour to go, and now that it's sealed, I can stick it right into the cake. Then 
I'm also gonna add two of our little leaves. Our faux piped cake is complete. I think she turned out pretty good. She actually kind of looks like a flapper. Thank you guys for joining me on this episode of Man About Cake. If you want any of the supplies or the recipes, click the eye at the top or get them from the description box below. Like the video, please subscribe, and leave your comment and let me know what you guys want to see in future episodes. Let's cut her, guys. Mm, that's good. Oh, show. Sure.